And I hope we'll be able to confirm you quickly because we do not have a minute to delay. We lost 140,000 jobs in the last month. All of the net job loss was among women, and it was disproportionately among women of color. Unemployment is twice as high as it was a year ago, and as usual, it is unfortunately even higher among women, people with disabilities, and people of color. The Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions will... One in nine workers in our country makes poverty-level wages, and the current federal minimum wage has left millions of working people desperately in need of a raise. We need leaders who ensure that every worker... Our nation can never afford to have a labor secretary that will ever be accused of being in cahoots with union bosses or beholding to management. This is a job that requires a labor secretary who's willing to make a commitment to confront both when necessary for the protection of the rank and file individual workers, especially in the midst of a pandemic with unemployment at 6.7 percent and 12.6 million people unemployed. This is a job that needs to be filled today. Means protecting and strengthening workers' protection, equal access to good jobs, the right to join a union, continuing education and job training, access to mental health and substance use treatment. These are not just policies to me. These are, I live them. Millions of American families right now need them. I've spent my entire career at different levels fighting for them. And that meant health insurance. For the past seven years, I've had the honor of serving as mayor of my hometown, Boston, Massachusetts. We've proven that we can create a world-class economy that works for working people. We secured a $15 an hour minimum wage. We expanded workplace training. We created groundbreaking policies to close gender wage gaps and increase racial equity. And businesses thrived as well. Thank you very much, Mayor. I will turn Throughout my career, I've led by listening, collaborating, and building partnerships. That's how, if confirmed, I will lead the Department of Labor. Right now, we're depending on workers, men and women, to keep us going, as they always have done. And, and we are always depending on them. I believe we must act with urgency to meet this moment with determination to empower our workforce and rebuild. Uh, we put together a Health and Equities Task Force. Uh, that Health and Equities Task Force...